All right, guys, you're going to be stuck with this weird angle because I've looked and I still can't find my tripod. But hi, guys, Dane here. And uh, for some reason, the autofocus is focusing on my T-shirt. It's focusing on this face, not this face. And today, I'm here to talk to you about Local Haunts. This is a horror tube anthology edited by Regina St. Clair, uh, who you'll probably know if you're kind of a participant in the horror tube community. And um, I'm going to read you the little blurb here. Uh, Local Haunts, a horror tube anthology. 19 terrifying tales from a vibrant online community of horror enthusiasts. Local Haunts has taken the horror booktube community's global influence and shrunk it down into one village of horror and mayhem you'll not soon forget. Inside these pages are frightening stories from around the globe, telling tales of terrible things local to each author's place of residence. And that's from the foreword by Jason White of Jason's Weird Reads, who is a good friend of mine, actually um, edited his upcoming novel. Uh, all proceeds for this anthology will be donated to First Book as well, and um, it's just a great little project. Uh, so I'm in it alongside, I guess, 18 other um, uh, horror tubers. Uh, as I say, Regina is uh, the one, or Regina, it depends how you want to say it, I suppose, <laughs> was the one who did all of the work on this and um, corralled all of the authors together. I've actually worked on an anthology of my own called Subject, Verb, Object, and that had 21 authors that then dropped down to 18 because three of them pulled out after I'd had it printed, so then I had to have 40, 50 copies or whatever of it pulped. But, um, I know how much of a pain it is to work with authors and also, I mean, when I did my anthology it took like three times as long to get it out as well. But, um, yeah, it's just really, really cool accomplishment that um, Regina's been able to do. So the authors in this, uh, well, the stories, actually, I can't tell you. The, oh, I can flick through, I suppose. So we have A Stone's Throw by Dane Cobain. Hey, I know that guy. That would be me, <laughs> in case you didn't get that. We have The Gentleman by Ryan Stroud. We have The Salt Hag by C.J. Wright, a cracking author tuber. Uh, what else have we got? Bloody hell, his story is about as long as mine is. Crowthorn by Andrew Lyle. Mount Gilead by Regina St. Clair. Or R. St. Clair. Screen 8 by Michael Taylor. Again, you may recognise some of these uh, names if you watch a lot of horror tube uh, and author tube as well. It's like a, a nice little crossover anthology, really. We have Drive Like Hell by Ken Poirier. I think I said that right. Certainly that should be the French pronunciation. We have The Mount of Death by Kevin David Anderson. So you can see there are quite a few stories to sink your teeth into as well. So there should be something for everybody. I just saw the line Captain Douchebag in that story. Already makes me look forward to it. We have The Drifter by James Flynn. We have The Block Seller by Mihalis Georgiastathis. I think I said it right. Terrible names at the best of times. The Night Watchman by Marie McWilliams. Uh, Alone Among the Gum Trees by Cam Wolf. And I, I chatted to him actually a little bit. Uh, Cam Wolf from Page Nomad. Chatted to him on my radio show uh, about his story and the influences for it. We have Highway to Hell by uh, Nicholas Gray. The Room Within, D.L. Tillery. Fading Applause in Quintland by Lydia Peaver. A Full Moon Over Black Star Canyon by Mac Matt Wall of Paperback Junkie, I believe. Long Buried by E.D. Lewis. Darkness Descends by Jason White, of course. So I think that means the next one is, yeah, Cameron Chaney at the end of the rope. And I think that might be at the end of the book. And then we have our author bios as well. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to film this quickly just to let you guys know this is out. It's available in paperback and electronic formats from all good retailers and some of the bad ones as well. You can also find, like, all of these guys on YouTube. They're all active on here. And um, as, as I said when I read from the, bl uh, the blurb, all of the uh, proceeds go to First Book as well. So, honor to be pri uh, pri it's an honor to be published in this. It's just great that this project even exists in the first place. I can't wait to read it, and I hope you guys will pick it up too. So you have it, that's a short but sweet update on Local Haunts. As always, don't forget to let me know in the comments if you're going to read this book, and if you've read it, let me know what you thought of it. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I'll see you soon for another one. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.